everyone knows how to use Flexbox, but still some cases we might be confused which are the property to be used and why the properties are used, right? So well in that case, let's play this game and understand Flexbox in better manner. So this game is all about helping a froggy and its friends to place them in the lily pad, right? So we have the game in this way. So the, in the left hand side, we'll have to write the code on the right hand side. Well, whenever we write the code, the right hand side or uh, no frogs will, uh, will be placed in the lily pad. Right, as you can see some dark gray color, uh, uh, the gray color basically uh, the layout that you see in the right hand side is basically the container that you can consider. So in this case it will be like a pond, right, you can consider. So uh, here we have something called display flex which we have already written, which is already written. Why? Is because if you want to make any container or any layout, basically Flexbox is for the layout system, right? So it's just a one dimensional layout system. So regarding Flexbox, we have already made a video, right? You can watch in our YouTube channel. There is a video talking about Flexbox and it's kind of crash course on Flexbox where we explained all the properties. But in this video, we're going to see in simple terms on how to play, uh, you know, how to learn Flexbox by playing this game. So. If you have seen that video, I have mentioned that if you want to make any container as a flex box, you have to make sure you define it by this line. So you'll have to say it as display colon flex. That means you are making the container as a flex box. Great. So only by then, after you declare it, only then you'll be able to use its properties like, you know, uh, justify content, align item, align contents, etc. Well, with that knowledge, uh, we have already seen, you know, how to align something horizontally, right? So we use the property called justify content and we are going to use this same. So here also there will be a guide given, which is justify content, it says. And for justifying content, you can say flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around. So in this case, I have to use the flex, uh, flex end because I'm just going to place my frog at the end because this lily pad is at the end, right? So, but I'll just show you uh, how it works when I say flex start. So flex start is the default one. As you can see, it is not going to move anywhere. And flex, uh, you can't even say, uh, say center because it's going to be placed in the center. Frog is going to be placed in the center. And I can't even say, uh, you know, space between. And that also doesn't make sense. Right, because we only have one particular one item right now. So space between doesn't make any sense. So all we need is flex end so that the, uh, you know, frog will be placed in the lily pad, which is given there. So this is about justify content and justify content by default when the flex direction is, uh, you know, set to row, right? So we'll see about that later uh, as we, you know, move further in the levels, we'll see how, uh, what is flex row, etc. Right now we can consider this is just for the horizontally alignment. Uh, basically, you can con consider it as a main axis right now. All right. And we have 24 levels to go and let's see how far we can go and uh, what are the uh, you know concept of Flexbox will be present in this game. Next is the, uh, again, you know, we have all these properties. So here also Flexbox contain. So let's say flex end. So let's see how it will be done. So now not just Froggy, his friend is also there and we have to make sure we uh, place both of them you know in the center right so for that flex end won't work so flex center will be the one uh, which will work right so I have, as you can see i've given flex center so they are placed in the center so you can move on next so the next level is again same so here all we have to do is justify content so here is the catch as you can see lily pads have lots of space all around them right so that's where you have you know you can you can't give something like flex end and you can't give something like center to then you have to give something called space property so in space there are three different variations you can consider there is one thing called place around and that's what we have to consider and then there is something called place evenly uh, that is nothing but even space will be given between the items and there is something called space between space between right so space between is nothing but uh, there will be a space uh, in the beginning and at the end and also there will be equal space between the uh, each element but the one which we are going to use is space around as you can see this will uh, this will be the one property which we are going to be use using here and next let's see which are the properties we will be coming across so here there is one more thing that they have given that is in this case we have seen how space uh, between works right Basically, we need in the space around, uh, if you have seen, there was a space in the, in the beginning as well, right? 
but whereas here there is no space in the beginning but only between the uh, you know elements there are space given but whereas you know in the beginning there is no space given that's the reason why we are not using space around so if you use space around as you can see there will be a space given in the beginning as well as at the end of the item but whereas when you give space between you won't basically have any space in the beginning or at the end only between the items we have so that's the reason why we call it as space between all right so now we are in the fifth level and let's see how things work so as of now we have seen only how to align horizontally now we'll also see how to al align vertically as well so in order to align vertic uh, vertically items these are the flexbox items right fog and its friends are flexbox items you can consider so in order to align horizontally we use sorry vertically we use align items so there is something called align content as well which we'll see in the further levels but for now you can consider only align item property this is used to um, make each item right basically flex item or uh, you know item to align vertically in, in the flex container so i can say here there is something called center again like you had in justify content and there is something called flex start which is you know the default one you can consider then there is also something called flex um, end and which we have to use today as you can see flex end when i say it uh, this is now you know uh, flex end is used right so you can also consider like we have already made a video which one is default one all that stuff you can watch that video on uh, you know our crash course in order to understand flexbox properly but if you already know the concept but you're still stuck somewhere like you know you don't have the practical knowledge on it i would highly recommend you to play the game along with me so you can what you can do you can pause the video and try to you know clear the levels and in case you don't you can watch the tutorial or uh, watch this video and you know take the guide what i'm explaining and then you can move forward and next go to the level six so here well you'll see you know uh, here is like centering so this is one of the interview questions right most of the times it's asked and most of them fail because they don't have any knowledge on how to do it so um, we have to make we have to make an element we have to align it to the center so there are so many different properties which where you can use it like you know um, making margin auto like 50 percent and left right and left 50 percent all that stuff and also you can make use grid as well but in uh, flick uh, when you use flexbox you have to use only two lines of code but of course you'll have to mention this right so all you can do is first you can say justify content center that means horizontally first we have to make it center and you can also say align item center as well so i can use align items and i'll just say center so as you can see now it is center so this is how you center anything in css so make sure you remember this it's not just for flexbox you, this is how you make anything in uh, you know any uh, item uh, you know lay on the middle of the page so this is very important and also you have to make sure sometimes the height also matters if this should work right so if you have to also make sure you have to give the proper height to the container because if the height is there then only the items will be centered right uh, without any height if you give it won't be basically centered so you'll have to make sure that also you keep in mind because that most of them don't say like they don't mention it so you should also be uh, know the reason why it might not center after you use these three properties all right so next comes the level seven and here is a catch so the frog needs to cross the pond and this uh, this time for lily pads with the plenty of spaces around them and use a combination of justify content and align item so let's see how you can use it so we have already used justify content and align items combination to center a div or sorry to center an item so now let's see how to um make this right you know how to use how to make them you know align at the end so basically here i'll just say first of all uh, align items i'll use it rather using you know i'll just say align items and i'll call it as flex end and i'll say justify content and then i'll just say space uh, i'll just i'll have to use space around in this case as you can see i have used space around and this is placed properly why i used space around because the space should be given in the beginning and at the end as well that's the reason why and now will you will go for the um all right so there is something called flex direction property which i was talking about so in flex direction we have row which is the default one then we have row reverse 
um, which says, you know, uh, how the row should be reversed. You know, basically the row will be reversed. You know, the order of the items will be in a reversed format. And then the column, which will now then, you know, uh, the items will be aligned in the column. And then we have row column reverse. So let's try it with column and see how it looks like. Basically, here we'll have to use row reverse itself, but still we'll uh, go and check that out. So basically, I'll have to say flex direction and then I have to use something called, uh, okay, let's use column and let's see how this comes. As you can see, this will now appear in the column way, right? So that means this is not the way to use it. Row is the uh, default one. So I'll have to use the row reverse. As you can see, row reverse, what happened? Uh, the row is basically the item alignment of item is now reversed. That's it, right? So these are the property which you can use it. Now row reverse is done. Now here same thing is that so but in this case I'll have to use column that I mentioned. As you can see I've used column and that's right. Now in the level 9 so let's see what are the property that we might need to use. So in this case it says uh, to use the combination of flex direction as well as flex content. So let's try to use them. So first use the flex direction. So flex direction is going to be row reverse because uh, red, uh, no, this should come at the end. Uh, so I'll, I'll say row reverse. So now observe what happens. Row reverse, I said like this. Now, what about uh, justify content? I can't say start. For example, before we have seen, you know, flex, uh, it was like flex start, right? So if I say flex start now, because the row reverse will be, you know, considered from the left hand side, sorry, from the right hand side, right? So flex start is for the uh, reverse will be in the right hand side itself. So in order to make it to the left, so now we have to say flex end because row reverse is changed. So you'll have to keep that in mind as well. So flex end is a property now we have to use because the direction is changed. When the direction is changed, flex end and starting value will also be changed. And now let's go to the level, uh, no, level, eleventh level. Here, let's see the combination of flex direction and justify content. So I'll just use the flex direction first, and uh, I have to make it as column. So let's see if the column is proper. Right, column is proper. That means red is red will have to come here. Now observe what happens. So I mentioned previously that align item is a property that you need to use in order to use uh, align item in order to make uh, you know content align vertically but when the flex direction is set to column the main axis there is something called main axis and cross axis in flexbox i've explained that in my flexbox tutorial you can go and watch that so main axis will now change completely that means the main axis which was from you know uh, which was you know even the main axis will change its uh, axis to y right basically it will also change so that means when that changes uh, justify content will now uh, you know uh, align items vertically got an idea right so basically what happened flex direction when it when it is in row in order to align vertically we were using align items but when the flex direction is in column we have to use in order to align uh, uh, you know uh, in order to align vertically we'll have to use justify content but if you want to align um, what we call like you know horizontally you'll have to use align items it becomes like vice versa right so now we'll use justify content and here uh, let's see let's go with flex start so basically flex starts is the default one so you'll have to use the flex end so as you can see you placed it so justify content will be used uh, for vertical alignment when the flex direction is column that is a very important thing to notice and now comes the flex direction and justify content again so i'll just say flex direction and this time we have to give column reverse the reason is because the red one is coming at the top, right? That's the reason why we have to give that. And next comes the justify content itself. And here we can simply say center. All right, it's not center, sorry. It's space. We have to give space between. Yes, the space between is the one that we need to use, right? Because there's a space between each items, not the center, it's space between. Great, now we're in the 12th level. Let's quickly do it. And now it says we have to use all three properties, the combination of all three properties in order to make them center. So first I'll use the flex direction itself. The flex direction should be row reverse because the red one is coming at the first, right? So I'll just say row reverse. Great, 
and next I'll make align items here I'll make it as flex end and I'll make justify content center great right so these are the three properties that we used align items to make it you know align at the end and center is to uh, horizontally space it now we are using horizontally for, uh, in order to align horizontally we are using justify content why because it is row or row reverse when it is flex direction is row or row reverse we use justify content for the horizontal thing great now it comes level 14 and here we have to use order right we are now with the you know ordering so now let's read about it sometimes reversing the row or column a uh, uh, column order of a container is not enough in this case we can apply the order property to individual items by default the individual items have value of zero but we use this property to also set a positive or negative integer value right so let's see what it is exactly so for, for let's say you know you cannot always manage the container that is nothing but each all the items will be you know basically changing right all the items will change when i say justify content what if you want to pick up only one so that's uh, that's when you'll have to basically give the class name to one particular item or class or id whatever and you'll have to basically select that item and then you'll have to mention where it actually have to go so by default order of lo i'm right now selecting the lo as you can see here order will be zero that means uh, the default one order of all the items flex items will be zero and if you give minus one it will be aligned you know the less the order uh, the you know items will be aligned to the left side more the order the align will be uh, the items will be aligned to the right side so now i want the more because all others are zero right green and uh, red is zero so i want greater than them i can simply say one in this case as you can see this now it was in middle it went to the yellow color went to the at the end right so basically what i did i just increased the order uh, uh then you know red and green color flock and now the yellow color flock went to the right side that's it so that's the reason why we or, uh, make use of the order property we can simply remember in this way order property is nothing but more the order the items will be aligned to the right side less the order the items will be aligned to the left side that's it and next goes to the level number 15 and in this case red so in red what we have to use is order itself so as i mentioned i want to make it less so zero is the default one right and less means it should come to the left side so i'll just say negative value as you can see when i say negative value it will come to the left side and next goes to uh, goes to the uh, flexbox align self all right so align self acts like align item itself but align item is for the individual one just like we had order here we have align items for the specific items in our flexbox right basically everything we don't want to make align items if we give all the items will be aligned to the top uh, aligned to the bottom what if we want to give only one individual one so that's when we have to use align items no sorry align self so i'll just align self so all i can do here is align items whatever the values that you know align item has everything it takes so in this case i'll have to give flex in and that's how that's all as you can see it aligned to the end and now let's see uh, we have to make use of order and align self together so it's like a combination of it so let's see how it works first of all i have to select yellow selector right so i'll just see order i'll just give it one which is greater value great now i'll have to use align self because i'm basically selecting only yellow color so i'll just say align self what i have to use i'll have to simply say flex and that's it right so this will be aligned to the uh, at the end now goes to the 18th level and here is catchy there is something called flex pro wrap concept now being introduced so now let's see no wrap is something there are three properties you know no wrap wrap and flex reverse so i mean wrap reverse sorry no wrap is the default one wrap we have and also we have wrap reverse and um, yeah let's see as you can see uh, all the frogs are quizzed in uh, onto a single row of a lily pad and uh, uh, our task is to spread them out using the flex frog property which accept the following uh, values right what happened here is that uh, all the you know 
item as you can see whenever you in a flex box whenever you have multiple items what happens here is that let's say its width is around like you know 200 pixel 300 pixel doesn't matter it basically quizzes your item just like how it is being displayed here so if you don't want that to happen that's when you can use flex wrap property so you can simply say flex wrap and then use wrap property basically def by default it will be no wrap all right it will be no wrap this is the default property and what you have to do is you can simply say wrap and now as you can see it will take the enough space for the all the frogs or the all the items uh, and then uh, the next items will come to the next row right so this is about the flex wrap instead of quizzing you are making it align properly now let's use the flex direction and flex wrap property together so i'll just have to use flex direction and in this case it is simple that is column and then i'll have to use flex wrap and I can simply say it has wrap. All right, my typo. I can simply say it has wrap, and as you can see, it applied. Basically, at first I had to my task was to make it align uh, vertically and then give the wrap so that you know all the frogs take enough space in the lily pad. Next comes the uh, 20th level, and here let's see how to do it. So here also. Uh, same so but as you can see be previously we had as you can see in the lab 19th example we had two lines uh, that given but in this level 20th level we have only one single line so that means we can use flex flow property to write flex direction as well as flex wrap property so let's see how how it goes so we'll have to say flex flow it will take two values in it so first one value is the direction value and the second is the wrap value so let's see how it goes so the direction is i want to make it column as you know and i next one i want to make it wrap that's it as you can see two values it can take within one so that's the use of flex flow and next go to the only five levels left for us so let's go and do it so as you can see flex wrap they have given correct that's great but what happened here is that when they give flex wrap as you can see there is a space which is created right as you can see the frogs are spread all around the pond but the lily pads are bunched at the top as you can see only lily pads are at the top let's say you don't want to have space between items so we can use something called align content so that's where we have align content so align at uh, align items we're selecting all the items but whereas align content will select the um, you know basically one row you can consider that it selects all right basically all the contain all the items will be in one single row you can consider that row or the that container itself that it considers so it also takes the following uh, you know values as you can see flex start uh, flex uh, end center space between space around uh, stretch right this can be confusing but uh, let's read this align content determines the space between lines while align items determines how uh, a whole uh, uh, our how items as a whole are aligned within the container when there is a only one line align content has no effect exactly right that means on when there is only one particular line of items align items uh, align content doesn't make any sense but when an, there are multiple lines it makes sense uh, it makes sense right that's the reason why i said one row you can consider and that you know one row we can try to manage it so i'll just say align content and i'm just going to make um, you know just let's say to the flex start because it should be at the top as you can see it worked right so next let's go to the uh, 22nd level and here now the current uh, let's see, you know, the currents bunched at the uh, lily pads are at the bottom. Use align content uh, to guide the frogs there. All right. So we, here basically we'll have to give align content property and we'll have to set it to flex end. Yep, that's it. And next comes the flex direction and align content. So let's try to do that. So I'll have to give flex direction first. So the flex direction is going to be, um, you can consider flex direction as column. Let's, let's give the column. I'll have to give column reverse. Yeah, column reverse is a proper one. Then now comes the align content. You can simply say center. That's it. All right. And next, let's go to the uh, only two levels left. Uh, hopefully, on, sorry, only one level left. 
So this is the last one and this makes kind of confu confusing for us. First of all, what we need is flex direction. We can use it. So here I'll use flex direction as column. All right. And next comes the, it should be column reverse. All right. Next comes the flex wrap I have to give and I have to make it wrap. Okay, great. And next, what I have to do it, I'll have to, instead of wrap, we can use wrap reverse. Basically, it will reverse the wrap, right? And next, I have to select align. Um, uh, okay, I can next use align content property. Basically, I'm selecting the two lines, right? I can make simply like, you know, center. All right, it will be centered. I have to make it like, you know, space between them. All right, so once you give space between and what I'll do is align um, justify content we can give justify content and you can make it center. That's it. <coughs> As you can see now it is placed at the center, right? So align content cent uh, space between we are given and justify content space center you can we have given that is nothing but we also have to make sure it now or uh, you know um, centers even vertically as well right so in order to center vertically when the column is reversed we are basically gonna use the justify content center property so that's all about the flex rob game and now we, if you hit center if you hit next you also will be given the suggestion to play like you know grid card nth card and other games where you can improve other css skills so i would highly recommend you to play them and try to improve your css uh, flex box or the grid whatever the knowledge that you want to improve so this is the fun way to learn any concept and if you have any suggestion or feedback you can just let me know in the comments is in collaboration with Neural School. So what is Little School? It's an online education platform where you train you to become an amazing full stack developer even if you're from non-tech background. The best part here is that you don't have to pay anything unless and until you get placed with minimum 5 lakhs in DC. Isn't that amazing guys? In case you want to register, the link is in the description. Go register now. Thank you so much for watching till the end guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. In case you want to learn more about web development, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'll be dropping a lot of value bombs. So be excited for that.